Thanks, guys. Yeah, 526 days. That's how long it's been since fans have been allowed to be back at Minute Maid Park here in Houston. To put that in perspective, we didn't even know about the Astros cheating scandal at that point in time. Now, speaking of that, the Astros are probably pretty happy to be back here at home in Houston for opening night as their reception on the road in their starting series has been anything but warm. There was a lot that stood out in the Astros opening series. Some good, some well expected. Got to hear some booze finally. That wasn't uh, fun to listen to, I didn't think. Despite the pandemic, rival fans have not forgotten the fallout of 2017. You can tell the amount of hostility and the amount of hatred in the, in, in the stands. You know, people make mistakes. And, um, you know, we paid for ours, and, uh, you know, we say leave it alone. It's doubtful road fans will let them forget. I think that's an inflatable trash can that has been shared on the field. But the Astros have their own way to keep them quiet. Well, hey, man, they responded by beating on that ball, really. A series sweep of the A's to start the season and a split on the road against the Angels behind it. I think everyone here was just super excited to be playing the game that we love. Tons of momentum coming in from last year. I mean, the guys are just really hungry. On the plate, another round of Oakland for opening day. As for what fans can hope to see. I, honestly, we just crush them from pitch one to the last pitch of the whole series. But, I mean, we're, we're a great team. Um, you know, defense, offense, we're all just clicking. Something a more hospitable fan base is sure to appreciate.